Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can test what warnings and messages, messages the user will see when they install your extension from the Chrome Web Store. So it'll be that little box that opens up when they click Add to Chrome and it'll have a message there. Now I'll share a link in the description to more information on the types of messages that the user can see and you'll find this page just here which gives you a table which shows the type of permission, this could be um, a permission for you know, using notifications or a host permission to allow you to inject code into a certain page. So you can see different warnings like here um, down the, the right hand side here, this is what the user will see and then the actual permission. So this is where you can get an idea of um, you know, the types of messages that the user might see and some of these are quite, are quite badly worded I would say. Um, for example, read and change all the data you visit all the data and websites you visit is quite extreme um, and you can't change this. So this can be useful to help understand the types of messages your users will be seeing so you can uh, actually add information into your extension to help you know give them more explanation around this um, especially as we move into you know more of the manifest version 3 world with Chrome as well. So I'll show you how you can actually view these warnings so here is a really simple extension I've put together that uses the notifications permission and accesses Google and Netflix. So when the user installs this, they should see first that I'm gonna access notifications, so I can send them notifications, and secondly, that I'm gonna access these different host permissions. So let's take a look at how we can actually see what these warnings will look like before waiting for this to actually you know, go through the Chrome review and be on the, the Chrome Web Store. So all you need to do is go into the uh, extensions, uh, the developer mode switched on on Chrome. So all we need to do is click pack extension. So once you do that, find the root directory of your extension. So for me, it's just this one extension folder just here. So I click select and then leave this private key empty and I'll explain what that's for in a moment. So all we need to do is click pack extension and that has added this into my folder just here. So this is my folder that the extension's in and then just outside of that is these two files just here. Now. Basically, this is the folder, this is the file we want to look at. So it's the my extension name, so warn ext, this folder, .crx. So all I need to do to see what these warnings will be is drag this file into Chrome like that, and it'll say drop to install. And now I can see this warning. So it's exactly what I said. You can read and change your data on Google and Netflix and display notifications. So if we then to go back, you can either cancel or add extension. If we go back over here, you can see that this read and change your data on hostname. So I gave a specific domain here. If you used all URLs or these uh, you know, wildcard uh, permissions here, they would look more like this. But because I was specific, it looked like that. And then for notifications, you can see down here, where is it? Ding, ding, display notifications. So it's exactly what we would expect. Now, the other side of this is to look at what would happen if a user had installed your first version and you changed your permissions in between versions. So that's where the pack extension uh, PEM file comes in. So you see this private key file optional. So this means they will use the same ID in between these tests. So if we go back actually and drag that file across again, so here is the CRX file, if we drag that over here and install. So we're gonna install this and what we're going to do, so you can't actually run the extension, but it's a good way just to test the warnings. So we'll go back over here and we're going to change this from being this to all URLs. And we're going to also increase our, increase our version just here and then save. So what we need to do now is go back to Chrome, pack extension again. We're going to select the same directory. So it's this one just here. You can see it's modified now. And then we need to select our PEM file. So this will be the file that was used before. So if I go back a directory, you can see it's just here. And that can then mean when we drag it across this time, it's gonna compare what's different between these two versions. So if I select that, pack extension, there's already a, you know, that file's gonna overwrite the other one we made, but that's fine. Okay, so we've created it. Now we're gonna go across, see that's 0.01. We're gonna go over here, drag this across again. And you can see now it's saying the newest version of extension warning has been disabled because it requires more permissions. So this is something you really need to look for when you're on the actual real um, web store. This will happen to your users as well. So if you change to increase the permissions, they will need to re-enable re this. So if you update your extension automatically, 
and you know when the extensions will update this would disable your extension until the user goes in and enables it again so it's important to really look for this so when you're first launching your extension really think carefully about the types of permissions you're going to be need a little bit into the future as well um, but I can click re-enable here and this will then mean the only part that's actually changed is it can read and change all data on all websites that I visit because I change it to all URLs so if I re-enable then you can see it's updated to 0.02 um, so that's the main part of how you can test these permissions if I then go back uh, to the previous way I had this and increase that to 0.03 and then pack it again what you'll notice so if we go back here the root directory, the PEM file, it's just here. So we'll pack, proceed, it's created. So we're gonna go over here, drag it across again. You can see now it updated about any warnings. So it didn't need to ask us again for permissions for Google and Netflix because we'd already accepted a stronger permission. So it remembers the types of permissions you've had, you've had before. So if I was to remove notifications in this version and change it to something else and then re-add notifications, they wouldn't have to accept that again. Hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions on you know, using permissions and the types of warnings people will use, um, feel free to add a comment in this video, but I'll also link through to this useful page in the uh, Chrome documentation as well, which sort of walks you through these steps and gives you the full list of you know, the table of all these different permissions and the types of warnings that you will see. But what I'd recommend definitely is just testing this um, even if you're between versions, if you're you know, looking into launching your extension for the first time, I definitely recommend running through this so you can sort of get an idea um, of the, the warnings users will see and start to build up your onboarding based on this as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.